going on. Um, you know, I started that series a while back, uh, tilapia and aquaponics, where I bought the fish and everything, and I just wanted to kind of bring you guys up to speed, give you an update on that. It's been a little while since I've done it. Um, what I did was I you know, got some underwater footage, and I also drew down the tank because it's kind of hard to see inside the, um, the black tank there. So I wanted to be able to go ahead and get some good insight for myself to see how big the fish have gotten. You know, of course, they've been growing through the winter months but for a lot of time since, you know, November and all that. And I got them in June. So I think they're doing fairly well. Um, I think some things could be better. And that's probably, you know, typical of when you get them off of eBay, which I did to start with because I hear there's a lot of inbreeding goes on. And I hear a product of that is smaller fish. Maybe some of you guys have been raising them for a lot longer would know. But... I think that may be the case. So what I'm going to do is, you know, and I encourage anyone if you're going to breed tilapia is to get your own breeder colony, uh, which is what I intend on doing as I continue further in this fish endeavor, learning a lot along the way and sharing that with you guys. So let me go ahead and uh, show you that footage I got and I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and just dive down into it here and see what's going on with the fish here in the tank. And I'm just sitting there kind of lazily, you know, like I always do. It seems like when I make one of these underwater videos, I give them some food a little bit before I film. And I don't know why I do that because you got stuff floating. But you know, there's going to be constantly stuff floating here because there's a lot of fish. And believe me, tilapia do a couple of things. Eat and then poop. And then make baby tilapia. So that's three things. If you notice back there a little bit ago, you saw that long heater thing, and that's what I've been trying to, that's what I've been keeping the fish warm with. We've been having some pretty cold nights, you know, constantly down in the low 40s, sometimes high 30s. And, uh, you know, one thing is if you've been watching anything about tilapia for a while, they, uh, they can't really, they're not supposed to go much below 50 degrees. That'll pretty much kill them. Now, I had a tank inside about, I don't know, a few weeks ago. I, I kind of made mention of it, but I didn't have no video footage of it, where I had a small tank and I didn't have no heater in it. And it was inside the shed. I said, oh, I'll probably be all right. And I got in there, and the shed was like 30 degrees. It had gotten really cold. So the water was, you know, close to freezing. And all the tilapia were laying on the bottom of the tank, not moving. I was like, oh, my goodness, they're all dead. So I went to pick one up, and... uh and I just saw the skill barely move, so I took them all and put them in a warm tank. And long story short, they all recovered, no problem. They went to swimming pretty darn quick, actually, because the other tank was heated. And so, needless to say, from now on, I don't let it that happen. Now that I have had them be fine in water as cold as 45, 44 degrees. So, you know, just take that with a grain of salt. I'm not saying it would happen with yours if you tried it; it may not make it, but. That's been my experience. No lower than 45, definitely. And I wouldn't do it for prolonged periods of time and quite often. So anyways, there you go, guys. You see the fish swimming around in the tank there, doing pretty good. And let's go ahead and I'm draw the water down a little bit. And uh, that way we'll get a better, closer look and kind of compare some of the big ones with the small ones. All right, here we go. We got the uh, water draw down. And uh, it's kind of hard to operate the camera and that at the same time but I'll do my best see if I can't find a nice one in here to show you guys even though this water is very shallow these things are not easy to catch I tell you what that's a pretty good size one right there um, you know the those are probably if I really wanted to I could eat them for sure but you know I'd like to get a little bit more meat on the bones I know this coming up warm spell because they eat like crazy then they'll really They'll really pack it on. I only really had a few months of good growing time uh, before it started getting really cold and, you know, cold enough where they don't want to eat a lot anyway. What I'm going to try to do is see if I can scoop up one of the small ones to kind of show you what I was talking about, how you get, uh, you know, they don't grow as fast. What I plan on doing with them is just, well, those ain't a couple of the small ones, but those ain't too bad. What I, what I would plan on doing with them is taking them out and, um, just put them in another tank set up, maybe just run some, use them to, uh, you know, run some more plants off of, and hopefully they'll grow. Maybe it'll take them a little bit longer, but I'm sure they'll get there at some point. 
boy, that thing's hard to catch. I can't get a hold of it for nothing. You know, the big ones, can, you can see the water's probably only a couple inches deep, but, you know, it's kind of easier to get one of the big ones in the net, but one of them little ones, it's no fun at all. Well, I wouldn't say it's not fun. It's just not easy. How about that? All this is a lot of fun, actually, once you get into doing it. As long as you don't have a ton of... Ah, there we go. I got one of the little boogers. So you kind of see how small they are right there? I mean, compared to the other one, it's not even half the size. I mean, barely, you know, it's right there, right there in my hand. So I'm just going to take him and throw him in this other barrel. And Well, that's it. You kind of see, you know, I was hoping that I'd get some better camera where you could actually see them laying on their side a lot. Um, unfortunately, it didn't. But, you know, I pulled a few out, and most of them are that size or bigger. Yeah, with an exceptional, you know, some, like I say, that are like that other size. Probably not a bunch. I think when I went through this tank, I ended up taking about uh, maybe 10 to 15 out, maybe, that I thought were just kind of... I want to get them out of these fish so these fish can actually grow and I can put something on the plate. You know what I mean? Well, anyways, guys, hey, I really appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot. Look forward to the comments. You know, there's some people out there that raised a lot of tilapia and got some good insight. I appreciate the comments. You know, go ahead and like and hate and subscribe. Uh, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.